Hi there and welcome to this Innover UK's training video on the structural product CE marking according to the EN 1091. In this training video we are going to be concentrating on what's so hard about the structural product CE marking. And I really hope that at the end of this lecture you have a general idea about what the CE marking requires and what kind of essential characteristics you can declare as a part of the CE marking and also in terms of what kind of proof you are going to need to back up the CE marking and the information presented in the CE marking. But first I would just like to cap a few things from the last lecture and the main thing is that you still must remember that the CE marking is just a standardized way to declare product characteristics and nothing more. It's not really a quality mark or especially not a mark of good quality and it's just a standardized way to declare product characteristics. I'm not going to go too deeply the, into the issue of what, how to define the harmonized standard. I'm just going to say, say to you that it is S EN 1091. And if you are, well basically if you are in from any European country, the, there is usually something in front of the EN just to localize the standard even though the content remains the same. So if you are from UK, there is most likely in front of the standard BSI slash EN. And if you are from Finland, it's going to be SFS. If you are from Denmark, now in Germany it's going to be DIN and so on. So there can be something in front of the standard even though the standard's content doesn't change. And if you remember from the last lecture, the key in the harmonized standard is always the appendix CA. And in this case, we're going to take a quick look at where it says something, some of the key things. But here I'm just going to say you that the product's system uh, attestation of conformity system is 2 plus. That means that there are tasks for the manufacturer and that there is also tasks that are given to a certification body or in this case notified body. And the appendix also defines all the essential characteristics that can be declared as part of the CE marking and also the appendix CA gives out the FPC system scope that you must set up in order to prove the essential characteristics. I'm just, at this point, I'm not going to reveal too much about this one. I'm just going to say that there are some extra things to consider. But you shouldn't just take my word for all of this. So I think we, the next thing we can do is go, uh, go ahead and take a closer look at this where it is AVCP system 2 plus comes from and what kind of tasks are given to the manufacturer and what kind of tasks must be outsourced, outsourced to a notified body. Here we have the screen capture from the table CA2 from the appendix CA. And here we can see that this deals with the steel and aluminium structural components for the structural use in all types of all types of construction works. And so the attestation of conformity system is 2 plus. And you don't have to go back to the last lecture to see what kind of activities were listed for the manufacturer and what kind of activities was listed for the third party in the system 2 plus but those are also listed in the appendix ca of the harmonized standard and here we can see that the tasks for the manufacturer include initial type testing then we have the factory production control and also sampling testing and inspection at the factory so the manufacturer has three different tasks related to the CE marking of the structural steel products. And as we are talking about 2 plus or plus 2 system, there are also tasks for the certification body. In this case, the cert certification body must verify that you have set up the FPC system correctly and that you are doing the sampling testing and inspection at the factory the correct way. So so that the certificate, certification body or the notified body must give you a certificate for the factory production control where they vouch that you have done it 
appropriately and that you have the necessary capabilities to perform the initial type testing and also you have the necessary capabilities to draw up the declaration of performance and also the CE marking.